Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We are still here on Mykonos helping a revolution and we got a bunch of quests for that in the previous episode. So I walked a little bit on them um, off camera. Specifically we got one quest that told us to lower the nation influence. And the best way to do that usually is to take over the local fort. So I did. I cleaned out the Miltiades fort over here. And um, that did lower the um, nation influence, as you can see, to weakened. And after that, the quest updated to this one over here. So apparently now I'm supposed to talk to the Spartan Polymark. I guess they're talking about Taletas because it's like in the same location. So yeah, I don't know, maybe I will uh, head over there and talk to him uh, just to listen to his plan. But I still think I should probably do this um, the stealthy and subtle way. But I guess it doesn't hurt to try to talk to him. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, I did find like a new quest. I saw like a soldier killing a bandit or a rebel or something. And when I looted the rebel, it gave me like a quest to look for some treasure. It's probably just a minor task. Um, and I did take down the local mercenary uh, what was her name i think olympia yes olympia the ravager so we have another gold uh, lieutenant in our collection and i think this is like the polar mark of the athenian fort that i took over and once i defeated olympia a new mercenary appeared because apparently they just get replaced so i defeated this one as well kevalinos the warlock but He's just a purple guy. <laughs> but I have two uh, new gold lieutenants, which apparently is kind of like my Pokemon trading card game now. I'm trying to collect as many gold lieutenants as I can. Or just, you know, um, people that are kind of unusual. For example, um, the one soldier we could recruit when we left Athens, he actually doesn't have a name. He's just called Athenian Commander. So that's a little bit unusual. I mean, most of the people have like actual names, but he doesn't, so that's interesting. Or, you know, that one guy that we recruited in the sex dungeon is called a stalker. So, yeah, I guess uh, collecting unusual NPCs is kind of a hobby now, so that's interesting. You see him command over here. He also has like a different profile picture. I mean, it's somewhat similar to this one, but different from most of the other normal soldiers so um, again kind of interesting um, anyway we also have like a completely different story thread about Kira and her father uh, apparently her father is Podakas I think that was the name of the guy like you know the person we want to kill um, and I have to acquire the wooden doll from his residence to prove it to her now, technically, if I'm going to infiltrate the residence, I may as well go ahead and kill him. But I guess I'm going to do this the proper way. I get the doll, I talk to Kira about it, and then we decide what to do. I mean, I don't think it's going to make a difference to her. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if she already knows about it. Um, but even if she doesn't, I don't think it's going to change her opinion about this because... I mean, the man, as far as we can tell, never did anything for her other than um, sleep with her mother and then kill her. <laughs> it's not like uh, the same situation as uh, it was with Cassandra and her father, because, I mean, she had an actual relationship with him for, I don't know, six or seven years. And apparently, in that time, he did care for his family uh, until the incident. So you can understand that she would be more reluctant to kill him. But for her, I'm not sure if she would have any problems with that. Also, if he is a cultist, as I suspect, I kind of want to kill him anyway. So <laughs> I hope uh, she doesn't mind, even if uh, I tell her that it's uh, her father. But yeah, um, I guess we're going to start by trying to get that wooden doll. Um, the good thing is, since I have already lowered um, the nation influence, um, it shouldn't be quite as heavily guarded. The leader has weaker bodyguards. I mean, he's not yet vulnerable, so I could weaken the nation status even more. But um, I've noticed in like at least two different cases previously 
that sometimes this is not such a good idea because once the leader was vulnerable, he would move out of his residence to the local um, shrine or local temple to pray to the gods. And it actually made him uh, harder to kill because the temple is a lot harder to infiltrate than the residence because the temple usually has only one entrance and the entrance was guarded. So it actually made it a little bit harder. I guess when he's on his way to the temple, he's an easy target. But once he's inside the temple, or maybe he would go to the temple over here, um, it's, it's a bit harder to kill him. So I guess I'm going to leave it on the weakened state and I'm just going to, you know, sneak in, grab the doll and be on my way again. And then we uh, listen to Kira and what her plan about all of this is. All right, now let's have a look at the situation. We have still quite a few guards in here. Okay, um, Podakus the Cruel <laughs> is somewhere downstairs. Um, but I mean, it looks like we have a pretty easy way to get inside. I also may want to pick up the Ostraka. But there might be like soldiers right next to. Uh, the doll that I'm supposed to pick up. So, yeah, maybe this is not going to be quite as easy. Also, why are there, like, so many dead bodies in front of your house? You really want to show the world how cruel you are, hmm? I should watch my step around here. And yeah, there's like a soldier sitting on the road. And that body over there was like the rebel or um, bandit that had that little side quest for me. Okay, we have one soldier over here. Are you the only one on this side? Um, looks like it. So, if he would just go away, should be easy enough to get to the other side. Or maybe I want to climb up here, get the Ostraka, and then I can easily head over to that open window over here. That actually might be a bad idea. Let's go down again. And let's see if we can find a good way to infiltrate from this side. Huh, again, there's like one soldier is going to be a problem for me. Well, and potentially another one. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, this isn't necessarily better, but I might be able to sneak up behind him. that this guy is gone. Alright. So, let's pick up the Ostraka. And now I gotta find a way inside this building. We have at least one soldier, but if it's just one, I'm sure I can manage. Alright. I have a ship, a good one. 
What I need is a crew. Are you in? No, oh, let's see. Um should be very close by, right? I hope these guys are not coming my way. Darkies kept the doll Kira made for him. She engraved it with a letter P for Pater. Okay. So well maybe maybe she does have at least some kind of connection to him. A wooden doll carved by young Kira for her pater engraved with the letter P. Little Kira couldn't have known that P was also for P Polakis, the man who killed her mother for delivering the doll. Okay, well, um I guess that's all we need. Could now. Kira have known all along? The rebels deserve the truth as well. But blood is everything to some people. They could abandon her if the new Podarkis was her father. Hmm. Still, I feel I should talk to her about it. Like I said, I kind of want to kill this guy anyway. Since he's a cultist. And yeah, it, it's possible that she already knew about it. Like I said. But whatever, let's, let's talk to her and find out. All right, we are back in the cave. So let's uh, go and talk to Kira. Oh, that's not Kira, that's um, Taletas. <laughs> but I think I'm supposed to talk to Kira as well. There's like another quest. Kira with a cause. Okay, but that's actually in a different location. Talk to Kira near the Temple of Artemis. So I'm not going to tell her about it, but instead just the other rebels? Well, that's interesting. I mean, it may not even be um, the Spartan. It may just be a general rebel. Um, but okay, I guess I'm going to talk to him. Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Miss Okay, Mios? there she is. Kira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. I should tell you in private, everyone should hear this. Honestly, I don't think it's uh, the business of everyone else, so you should uh, listen to me in private. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. I will kill you where you stand! <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. This can't be. Okay, so she didn't know about Kira, it. Kira, I'm sorry. He took everything from me. How did you find this? I've been to your house, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I feel I should be honest here. I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through mother's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. All right, fair enough. Okay, there we go. Uh, quest completed and I hope she will make up her mind soon about what to do about the situation. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I still kind of want to kill this guy because he certainly deserves it and he is most likely a cultist and I could use more fragments, right? 
anyway, while she's thinking about this, um, maybe I should uh, check out um, my quests over here. I mean, she's a party over here now, so I may as well go and talk to her now before I head over to uh, Taletas, right? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's uh, see what she thinks about this now, and then we will talk to Taletas as well. Oh, um, do you need help with that, maybe? Don't want to get too involved, because, um... It's, it's very likely that, um, I end up firing at the soldiers, and... I don't want to do that at the moment. Alright, well... <laughs> The lion's still alive. There's like a skill where you can tame animals. Oh, um... This guy didn't make it, apparently. But okay, now let's, uh... Continue. And let's go and talk to Kira again. But she seems to be on the move. <laughs> and apparently we already have, like... A new mercenary. So they just keep on replacing um, the mercenaries on this island whenever I recruit one of them. <laughs> Near the Whirling Blades. Okay. But whenever they replace um, a mercenary, apparently the replacement starts off at tier 9. Because um, Olympia was, I think, tier seven or whatever i think she was a higher tier than that and yes uh, cassandra has uh, moved up to tier six already so we're making some progress here and i guess i should focus on you know defeating these mercenaries because they're just going to endlessly replace uh, the mercenaries below me with lower tier ones so yeah i should probably focus on the stronger ones so i can move forward in, in in the ranks. Anyway, Kira, um, can we talk again? Cassandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another <laughs> blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first and <laughs> you won't be the last. Villians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. So, um, have you thought about the revelation? You mean your father? I was raised by hunters, rogue warriors, mercenaries. They are my true family. That man is nothing to Alright. I kinda expected and that. And one day, I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Dilos Island. Okay, well, I'm sure I can just go ahead and destroy them. That's easy enough. I'll go to Vilos, find their stockpiles and destroy them. All right, destroy Athenian war supplies and weapons. Use fire to destroy the war supplies and lower the nation power. Destroy the weapons racks and lower the nation power. Again, I feel I could just infiltrate the residence and just assassinate him. But I'm going to do it the proper way, the way that she suggests. Um, which means I have to go back to Delos. Interestingly enough, apparently there's like new side missions on Delos now, which certainly weren't there before, so I guess I will have a look at them as well. 
But uh, before I do that, um, let's head over to Taletas and listen to his plan as well. I don't know. Maybe I do like his plan. Maybe I'm actually going with his idea. But um, in general, I do prefer the stealthy approach. Um, yeah, maybe I'm going to start by synchronizing the viewpoint over here and then we will check out the beach on this side. Anyway, I'll be back. Artemis of the wild land, mistress of animals. <laughs> Indeed. And it looks like the statue was carved out of the rock of this little hill. And then they put like a bow in place. Um, okay, apparently the synchronization point is the tip of the arrow. Nice. That's a really cool uh, synchronization point. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look possible to stand on this little uh, arrow tip, but okay. Now, let's go down. And yeah, um, let's head over to the camp over here where the Spartans uh, are staying. And I may want to check out this quest first. I'm guessing it's really just like a treasure I can pick up and nothing too involved. So let's finish this first. Apparently, that's our treasure over here. Okay, yeah, it's really just picking up a treasure. I wonder what happened to all these dead animals, though. Oh, there's like wolves over here. <laughs> I guess that's what happened. Funny that they don't seem to uh, mind me, though. I guess I'm just going to leave before they start attacking me. Okay, so <laughs> we picked up that treasure. Now, let's head over to the Spartans, and I guess um, we're going to turn in this quest first. We have significantly reduced the nation power, which I guess would help uh, Taletas in whatever he's planning as well. If he's planning like a frontal attack, then having to deal with less soldiers certainly would benefit him, right? All right, uh, let's talk about this. Eagle bearer, my name is Herodianos, second to Thaletas in battle. Okay. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls <laughs> back. Sounds like a lot of howling. <laughs> Fight with us! Together we'll run our shields through their skulls and spears through their hearts. I have to admit, I am kind of tempted to do this, <laughs> um, but not at the moment. I, I still have to uh, make that decision. I'm honored, Spartan. I'll come back when I'm ready for battle. All right. So, I guess if I... No, the question is if I agree to fight with him. Does this mean that I commit to, like... Uh, Taletas' way of doing this. Oh boy, there's a bunch of dead soldiers here. Um, anyway, let's go and talk to him first and see what exactly he has in mind. Spartans! Many brothers were lost to the Athenian dogs, but we are still here! <laughs> it's not a lot, though. The of the 300. Leonidas was lucky to have that many men. Today, we honor the fallen. Today, we send our enemies to Hades. Kira will fight and die for her people. 
We will do the same! We don't go home until these islands are ours! Thilos called! Sparta answered! <laughs> okay, good talk. Good talk. <laughs> but yeah, you certainly do not have 300 warriors. You have um, five. And I guess a few over there. I believe Kira was talking about like 11 soldiers. But I guess you like a uh, hopeless cause. Eh? What's with that sarcastic Cassandra, smoke? I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide mission. And miss your speech. <laughs> Never. Athenians give speeches, Spartans give orders. All right. Oh, I can flirt with him. What orders would you give me? <laughs> well, what would you? If I was under your command, what would you order me to do? Same thing I order my men. Bruised, bloody, or broken. <laughs> never hold back. Romantic, I guess? <laughs> I never hold back. So you like things rough. Hard shell, soft center. <laughs> well, I never hold back. That's true. I never hold back. I can tell. <laughs> I wasn't talking about fighting. I know. And I'm tempted. <laughs> but... But I sailed here for Kira. She's the one I fight for. For now. Well, if you're going to win these islands for her, you'll need more soldiers. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine isn't. <laughs> You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. Okay, so I guess um, this quest would involve a little bit of sea battling. Um, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and sink the ships. I guess no harm uh, can come from that. And I did get the impression that there might be something going on between him and Kira. I'm not entirely sure about this, but I, I did get some signals. <laughs> Anyway, I guess I will accept this quest and I can still decide not to do it, I suppose. The Adresti and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. I'll sink the ships. But I'm not making any hmm. promises about the helmet. Okay, well, tell me more about your plan. How many Athenian ships should I sink? You've been here long enough. How many ships protect Delos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols, enough to send them scrambling. Okay, and what's so special about the helmet? Well, except the fact that he, it belonged to your father. So the helmet from your pater means a lot to you? It does. He prided from his butter on the battlefield of Thermopylae. I see. I see. Okay, I can understand that. Um, yeah, tell me about the location of your ship. The sea is a big place. Where did your ship sink, exactly? Somewhere off the northern coast of Mykonos. We could see Miltiadis fort as we swam to shore. Hmm. Okay, well, um, I'll see what I can do about it. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done. All right, well, so we got a new quest. Athenian ships can be recognized by their blue sails. And I can see a bunch of them over there. Okay, so sinking a few Athenian ships shouldn't be too difficult. Getting the helmet, probably not too difficult either. And yeah, I don't know, maybe uh, Cassandra's Spartan blood is tempted to actually take this route uh, for a change. But okay, we have like a bunch of different tasks now. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what this means and what would happen if I uh, finish this part of the quest. If it means that I'm uh, committing myself to the Taletas way. But I mean, it's a different quest, so I feel that it's probably something different, right? Something that is independent of that other quest. Um, but whatever, maybe I'm going to start by going back to Delos, have a look at the two side missions that popped up, 
and destroy the war supplies. I mean, that can't hurt one way or the other, right? Um, so I guess I'm just going to fast travel here. And maybe once I'm done with that, I will finish the stuff for Taletas and then we have to decide which option we're going to choose, right? Okay, we are back on the statue. Yep. Now, let's see, where are these side missions? Socrates? Why is this a Socrates mission? Well, let's find out. Sacred soil. Good people of Delos. Your hearts are big, but we must use our minds in this matter. He deserves death. We demand justice. Though putting the man to death would be justice for who? Can a citizen truly be pardoned <laughs> when justice is sought? Must we not first define what justice is? <laughs> Don't listen to Athenians. They do nothing but talk, talk, talk. We want action. Ship the rebel to Mykonos, where nothing is sacred! Kill him there! Life has value, no matter where you are. Okay, so apparently Socrates is on Delos now, annoying the local population. Are you, like, stalking me? Or did he uh, join us on the Adrestia? I don't remember seeing him on my boat, and I don't remember him leaving Athens with us, so why are you here? Anyway, let's talk to him. Socrates, you just make friends wherever you go, don't you? <laughs> Cassandra, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Thelos? I came to help the rebellion. I came to kill Podakas. I came to hear you speak. <laughs> I hope she delivers this in like the most sarcastic tone ever. Once I heard the great Socrates was on Thelos, I raced over to hear his words of wisdom. Thank you, ah, Cassandra. But what are words? Can they be wise, or are they simply words? <laughs> oh, oh, no, you don't. I'm not getting sucked into one of these debates again. Yet right now, there's a situation I would love your opinion on. Of course. Fine. Soldiers captured the rebel. He stole from the sanctuary to help finance the rebellion. When guards attempted to apprehend the man, he killed one of them. Murder on Delos? They're probably going to kill him. Indeed. Though it's illegal to end his life here, so... He awaits his fate to be <laughs> Everyone else is leaving. They don't Where care do about this. <laughs> Would you say this rebel deserves death? That killing him brings justice? The rebel deserves to live, define justice. He deserves to die. <laughs> I mean, he's already been starting to, you know, asking about what is justice. So maybe I'm just going to play the same game with him. Let me answer that by asking you this. What exactly <laughs> is justice? <laughs> A brilliant question. He stole, which is wrong. But it was for the freedom of his people, which is right. He killed a man. To save his own life. He broke a sacred law, one he knew honored the gods. So you're saying he can kill and steal, but stay in the earth and he should have his throat cut? I am saying nothing, but <laughs> when we stray from the law, are we not like the animals? <laughs> you know my opinion on that. Can I go now? Of course, of course. There's just one more thing. Of course. Uh, there always is. Mm -hmm. The rebel is being held north of here in oh, the Estiatorium. Okay. They're shipping him to Mykonos tomorrow. Wait. All this just to convince me to save the man? Convince, never. Though I am curious. Now that you know where he's held and why, would you save him? I mean, I am already aiding the rebellion, so this seems like a no-brainer. Um, I guess I'll pay the rebel a visit. I'm going to pay this rebel a visit. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I thought you might, though I have no drachmi to give, only knowledge. Which one should prefer, <laughs> for it is perpetual, not transitory. Well, that's something, I think. <laughs> okay, so I thought for a moment this was just a little conversation with Socrates, but no, it's an actual quest. Free the rebel, he's on Delos, he's in the western part of the birthplace of Apollo. 
He's being held captive in the Hestiatorium. <laughs> okay, um, let's have a look at the map. Um, the western part of the birthplace of Apollo. It's gotta be this place over here, right? I mean, it's the only undiscovered location. Um, but before I uh, have a look at that, let's check out the second side mission as well. Um, this apparently does not relate to Socrates. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, anyone here who needs my help? You, maybe. You're bleeding. Hmm? A lot. Come to turn me into <laughs> the priests? Depends what you've done. Don't know if anyone told you, but it's illegal to die on this godforsaken island. Okay. So I've been told. Shame nobody told the beast roaming around. Vrach me to the one who kills it. So what if you violate that law? How are they going to punish you? <laughs> but yeah, I guess I can kill the beast. Unless it's illegal to kill animals on this island as well. I mean... The beast would have to die, so that might be illegal, <laughs> but I guess I'm going to do it anyway. If you're paying, I'll hunt and kill this beast for you. You're not the first hunter to tell me that. <sighs> but I still have all my Vrachmi. Okay, so can you tell me more about that beast? I've hunted many beasts. What am I hunting this time? <sighs> I'd call it a bear, but I'd be lying. This creature is Artemis's nightmare. So, it's a very big bear, probably? Anyway, where can I find it? Where's the beast now? Got as far away from that thing as I could. You'll find it north of here, near the coast. Just follow the trail of bodies. <laughs> the bloodier the mess, the closer you are. So, a lot of people died, apparently, which is against the law. Anyway, uh, where are you from and what are you doing here? You're not from around here, are you? Came through Arcadia, but Corinthia is my home. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess I will go and hunt that beast for you. I'll find the beast and kill it. Try not to bleed out before <laughs> I return. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope I hope she's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, let's uh, have a look at that quest as well. Hang on a second, I should... Market as active. Uh, this should be it, right? The bears killing people on Delos. It was last spotted in the northern part of the sacred land of Artemis. Okay, I mean, that's where I have to go anyway. So, I think I will continue with this quest first. Uh, burn the war supplies. Hunt down the beast. Free the rebel. And then return to Mykonos. And then I will have to decide what option I want to use for taking down Podarchus. Who I could technically just kill right away without caring about any of these two. But let's let's try to follow like the proper procedure, right? So yeah, um, let's uh, find those war supplies. And again, I should probably uh, activate the proper quest for that. Um... This would be Kira with a cause. Yep. Okay, let's go. The Kintos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarikis' weapons and supplies. Right. Um, how many guards do we have around here? Not a lot. And I mean, I don't really care about the captain and the guards. So maybe I'm just going to use like a few fire arrows to shoot the water supplies from a distance. <laughs> I mean, it's going to cause a little bit of commotion. But if I'm being careful, I might be able to do it 
um, without too much chaos. For example, the one over here is like pretty unwatched. Break their supplies, All right. break their will. It's one of them down already. Now let's retreat for a second while they try to find out what happened. In the meantime, I'm going to try to find a good spot to target the next stash of supplies. Um, let's see, how about the one over here? This one might be inside the tent. Okay. So I can't target it from, from this angle. But we do have a few that are like out in the open. Like this one. Who knew rebelling was this much fun? <laughs> okay. It was another pretty easy target. Um, and I might even be able to shoot this one from over here. It might be too far away. A supply crate. Should destroy these without attracting attention. All right, that's three or four. Now I just need to find a good... A good point to destroy the final crate. And I mean, if I get detected destroying that one, I can just make a run for it now. And so far they haven't really figured out what's going on. Alright, I think I should be able to target it from here. Oh, I... I'm out of arrows, <laughs> but I can just make new ones, right? Um, let's fill up my stash of fire arrows. There we go. Um. Well, okay, there we go. Be helpless. That should do it. <laughs> Kira will want to hear about this. Probably. Anyway, let's get away from here. All right, I'm pretty sure they're not going to follow me down here. Um, yeah, I guess we're done with that quest. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, and yeah, in the next episode I will uh, try to kill that beast, free the rebel, and then return to Mykonos. And then I have to make a decision about uh, which quest I want to follow. Also, I may actually want to, you know, do some exploration off camera and make sure that I have uncovered the entire island before I leave. So that's maybe what I'm going to do in between episodes. But for now, um, Let's call it a day. As always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.